Okay. So the next part of the, the last material or last part of the car as a uh, designer we'll look at is the rear side. Here's the rear side pillar. Right? So the, the rear side pillar Right, so usually cars like this at the rear, you don't have an engine. What do you have at the rear of your car? You have your trunk and you also have your gas tank. Yes or no? So the 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 the, the function, right? The function of the rear side pillar. Right, the function is to absorb. You absorb the energy upon impact, All right? However, for this case, must protect rear passenger because the real passenger we don't have airbag at our back right <laughs> right protect passenger and more important or as important the gas tank right you don't do to impact the gas tank if you impact the gas tank what will happen anyone can anyone tell me uh, what will happen if you impact the gas tank? Anyone? Fuel boom. boom. Hey, the fuel will what? Fuel explosion. Ground. Yeah, the fuel will boom. Then I will ask you, what do you call an exploding monkey? Anyone? Anyone? What do you call an exploding monkey? You call it a baboom. Yes or no? <laughs> I went to Lion Safari. That was the best. <laughs> That was the best joke I ever heard. My so wife with is. With all due respect, please don't say that joke again. Hey? <laughs> with all due respect, don't say that joke again. <laughs> it's baboon. I was laughing the oh. head on my head off. My wife is Korean. She don't find it funny at all. I was laughing so much. Okay, exploding monkey, baboon. <laughs> anyway, right? Oh, so God. now, <laughs> what material will you use? Anyone, you want it to be, you want it to absorb energy also, right? So you want it to collapse, right? You want it to collapse, but you don't need to collapse like the front because now you have a what? You have a gas tank and you have a, a you have passenger to protect, right? So what material will you use? Anyone, please. Would you still use uh, Uz bore? No, you can't use Uzbor. Why? Okay, so let, let, let's see. Trip 800? Let, huh? Trip 800? Trip 800 is correct. But let me tell you. Okay. Why not we use, why not we use Uzbor for the whole car? What will happen? The energy will go straight to you and then you can... Yeah, you're absolutely right. If the whole car is made of Uzbor, it will be known as a bumper car. So upon accident, nothing will happen to the car. Insurance will be cheap, but you die. Because all the energy will come to what? Will come to you, right? So you want the energy to be, you guys are absolutely right, okay? So the right material we are going to use, trip 800. Okay, we're going to use trip 800. And why is that? It be, it's because of what? Because of the N is equal to what? 0 0.66. And also the B, right, is equal to 2153 megapascal. It was strain hardened also, right? Now, the question to you is this. Why, right, why... Right, why... 
C is equal to 0 0.014, okay. Right? Yes, to absorb. Then how come this one we can tolerate the 0 0.14, 0 0.014, anyone? Anyone, why is it okay? Why, this means what? Right? This means speed is not important. Rate of deformation is not important. Why? Why is rate of deformation is not important? At the front, it is very important. At the back, it's not important. Why? Hello? Anyone there? Um, so, uh, sorry, just wanted to ask, uh, so what is, uh, what is N equal to uh, 6.6 .6 mean in terms of how it will behave again? So, 0.66 means it was strain hardened. Oh, it was okay. strain hardened. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then for 2153, it's also pretty high, right? It's half from Ooze ball, right, but it's still high, right? So, the next question I'm asking you, why C squared 0 0.014 is okay? Why the front has to be what? Uh, the front has to be equal to 0 0.125. And then the rear 0 0.0. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Why? Uh, because of the direction of the force of impact. Yes. What What? Uh, what about that? If the force, of, uh, if it strain hardens, uh, if it, a low C value means it doesn't have strain, uh, the rate of strain doesn't really have an impact, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, because, it's, bet it's better than aluminum, but it's not so good, okay? Uh, beca because you don't really need to absorb all of the impact because you can go, the, the car can go forward. The car can go forward. If, Let's if say, a, I, I know what you mean. Let's say if there's a wall in front and someone rear and you, what will happen? Or, or the car in front is on brakes, what will happen? Oh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> right. So why this is okay? So let's say this 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 is travel direction, right? This is uh, direction, right? This is direction. So if the front of the car, right, right, and then the other car behind. So this car one, car two, right? Is it because the front bumper of the other car will yeah absorption? Yeah. So car one, car two. So let's say this one. This one will be made of what? This one will be made of, right? Car one and car two. This one will be made of, will be made of a dual face, right? Right. So that that is the direction, and this is your exhaust. Okay, this is your exhaust, right? And then behind over here, this is your what? This is your trip. Right? So upon impact, right, the car number two, right, the, let, 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 let's say you got a wall down here, car number two over here, the dual phase steel will absorb energy, the trip steel will, will, it does not need to uh, have that strain rate sensitivity. You know what I mean? It just need to make sure that it does deform, but it doesn't deform so much that it hit the, what, gas tank, or it hit the passenger. Does that make sense? Right? And the other, what is the other reason why 0 0.1, 0 0.14 is okay? How many of you have done a bank job? Like you go and rob a bank. How fast can you reverse a car? Any what idea? Let's say you didn't, let's say behind you don't have a car, but you reverse and you had an accident. How fast a speed can you reverse? Anyone? Not fast. Yeah, but 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 how fast can you go? Uh, maybe like 30, 40. Yeah, yeah, right. So the reverse speed. Okay, the reverse velocity or speed. Right, you're right. On average. Is about. 30 kilometers per hour. So that is why uh, uh, the C value at 0 0.014 is what? It's okay. So for the, for that reason, right? 
for that reason, that's why it's okay to have what? 0. Uh, 0.014, okay? And if, if, if some of you might be saying, if someone is going to kill you, right? When you see your car, what will happen? It will be traveling at a much higher what? Higher speed. That will be called murder already, okay? <laughs> if someone rear end you at 200 kilometers per hour, you are dead, okay? You whether is it ooze ball, is it dual face deal, or is it 3800, will not help. Will, will not help. But if someone rear end you at 200 kilometers per hour, uh, it's no more an accident. It's called murder, okay? It's called murder, okay? Install a hitch on the back of your car. Hey? Just install a hitch on the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So 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 as a as a design engineer now, right? We are, we are being a what? For the past what? Half an hour, we'll be a design engineer. Right? Now you know how to what? Select material and you also know how to process trip 800, right? So to process trip 800, what did we say? We have to control the plastic strain yes or no right control the plastic strain and to process this material we also mentioned what we can use what use heat right this is because of m is equal to 0 0.76 so that's why we start making cars that look like a box already right we are making cars that that are more rounded now okay so I'm 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 glad you you are able to like visualize this. So now, mechanical properties means more to you than anything else. Now, before that, it's just yeah. Tell me how hard yeah. So I did show you guys why knowing A alone is absolutely useless. You have to know A, B, and C, and what and M. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to teach you. So we we have just look at mechanical properties. Okay. So the next thing we are going to look at is microstructure. Okay, we are going to very briefly, we're going to look at microstructure. I'll do more on the microstructure when we do heat treatment later on. But now I'm going to introduce very briefly, introduce to you microstructures. Okay, very briefly. Nothing uh, very complicated. I know you guys learn more probably in your first year or whenever you take a material science course. I know you'll learn more, but I'm only going to do a bit of it. Okay, just a, a, a very brief uh, recap. For all of you, okay. So we have listed down those alloys. I mean, like the four alloys, right? We have listed down the materials, microstructure, right? So we, we have, we have, uh, we're gonna look at crystal structure of steel. Okay, we, we look at, Increase the structure of steel. Okay, so the first thing that we are we're going to take note is if we look at the before we look at the crystal structure of steel, we are going to look at the microstructure. Okay, so again, material. So why I'm teaching you this is sometimes you just cannot just blankly stare at mechanical properties. Or if you don't have mechanical properties, but you have microstructure, it can also help you in, in, in you can also help you in on a few. When I say few means, mm, is this going to be difficult or easy? Okay, a, a, a very intelligent guess. Again, so we have AISI 1045. We have USBO. Fifteen hundred, and then we have dual face steel. Six hundred, 
and then we have Uzbo, uh, not Uzbo, Trip, 